welcome to a brand new walkthrough! I'm finally coming back to Temple of Amun-Ra. I first played this for an annual blind play video, so we're back again, this time, for a walkthrough. So when I select new game, this is pretty awesome, you get to choose an outfit. So Classic Croft is the one we can see here on the screen. So Classic HD is the next gen version of this, except Lara has a ponytail and not a plait. Uh, Explorer is uh, the one we see often in level editors. She's got the white shirt and the shorts. Desert Raider is quite good. I used this one for my blind video. Uh, she's got a black top and some sort of brownish red trousers. And then AOD with the shorts, that kind of style. So that's pretty good. That's awesome that you get to choose. So my favourite one that I'm going to choose is Classic HD. I'm going to go with this one for my walkthrough. Okay, so our first objective is to get this gate open. So I'm just going to head around and grab some items in this area. We can jump up to this really sneaky gap. There's a med pack inside. And just over here in the corner, next to Indiana Jones, is a shotgun. Okay, now I'm going to head back around. We're going to start climbing up the rocks to get on top of this structure. So, to here, and then just hop over to here. We have some shotgun shells and then just go ahead and pull the lever. Nice. Okay. So I think visually this is my favourite level editor. It looks so nice. And the music as well is a really nice mix of Tomb Raider music. Okay, so again, next task is to get this gate open. So firstly, I'm going to scout around to grab the items on this lower ground floor. So we can shoot the pots. So it's these pots in front of me, not these darker pots with the plants. So some of the pots have an enemy, some of them have an item, and some of them have nothing. So I will not shoot this pot that's got a scorpion. This one has a skeleton. If you do spawn him, you can just knock him in the pit and he kind of disappears. <laughs> he doesn't even stay in the pit. Uh, if you happen to fall in the pit, you won't take any damage. It's really shallow. This pot has a scorpion. This one has desert eagle clips. The one next to me has nothing. Okay, we've got a med pack. And one reason I'm going to choose to ignore the scorpion pots is because when you're on the higher levels and you're trying to shoot the other pots, she actually targets the spot where the scorpions spawn for some reason. I have no idea why she just targets nothing once you've killed the scorpion. Oh, backwards. So anyway, I've just picked up some flares and this is the last item on this ground floor level. So this last pot here has another scorpion. So now we're going to locate a block to pull out. So pullable blocks have the circle at the base, just like this one. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm not going to move it anywhere just yet, because I'm just going to take a quick detour to grab some more items. Okay, shotgun shells. Ooh, shooting that just to get it out of my way. And then I'm going to shimmy along to the next set of pots. Okay, here we go. Just pull up. And we have some Uzi clips. Okay, now back to the blocks. So this time, I'm going to pull it this way as far as I can. OK, 
Okay, hop on up. I'm gonna shoot this vase. We've got a load of torches inside that one. And then this bench has another chance to grab a shotgun. Okie dokie. So now, can we, no, no, I wanted to look, but fine. Okay, so where we're going to light the torch, if you look through the archways to the far side, there's two different parts, and it's the darker one that has a flame inside it. So we're going to make our way around to there with the torch to light it. Okay, so there is a skeleton in there. I'm going to deal with him straight away. He's a little bit annoying. He's not really supposed to move from that spot, but sometimes he does. Most of the time he doesn't. So if you happen to shoot him from across a different direction, um, like if you don't come to this spot straight away, he tends to deal with himself and just disappears. I kind of do want him to jump over. He has done the last two times I've played. I want him to come get me so I can just knock him off while he's in midair. That is the easiest way to deal with him. I don't think he's gonna do it. Oh, he's just jumping on that same spot. Okay, dude, please. <laughs> do me a favor, come on. Jump on over. Hey. Hey. I got candy. I don't think he's having none of it. I'm gonna have to hop on over. I'll wait for him to leave the edge so I can get over. Okay, and he has to be knocked off by either side. Uh, actually, no. It's a miracle he got knocked off that way. So usually you have to knock him off from this way and not the two sides because of the low ceiling. So you actually do not need to grab in the air to land into the gaps, which is very helpful. So now let me rush back to grab a torch. You see how it kind of pushed me into the gap there? The low ceiling? Okie dokie! Well, let me just pop down my pistols and I can shoot the other vases. There we go. Okay. So you can also see a gate there and an unlit wall torch. So this is what we're doing. We're going to light the wall torch and that will open this gate here. So I don't get too close. Okay, so now throw down your torch. Before I drop down myself, I will grab another item. So we've got a med pack just there. Okay, and don't try and grab too far to the left because I've had it before where she just doesn't grab. I don't know why. Okie dokie. And then grab the torch. Light this wall torch. And now this gate is open. So inside this sarcophagus, we've got a mechanical scarab. So picking this up opens up this gate. So before I do head through to the next area, I'm actually going to grab a secret. So that's down in the pit. Just drop on down. You won't take any damage. 
and we've got this odd block. So just move this as far as it will go. Okay, head on through, it's pretty dark. So inside this pot we've got some uh, flares. Let me pick up my other flare, waste not, want not. <laughs> we've got a canopic jar which doesn't do anything. It's not a usable item I mean. And we've got a desert eagle so once we pick this up we will activate the skeleton. So let's get out of here. So he can be pretty quick. Oh no. Don't you dare. No! This is not cool at all. I do not want to be taking this damage. I've taken way too much damage. Oh, that's so annoying. Well, I'm going to have to start again. That's far too much damage to have taken. So I'll see you back at this spot. I'll do everything else and then get good. <laughs> there we go. That was much better. Okay. I'm wondering if the skeleton is still on this other level. Yeah, there he is. He kind of bugged out a bit, this guy from the top. I don't know whether it's because he tried to jump across to where the column that I was on and I was stood right at the edge. So he kind of, he tried to get across, but I was in the way and then he just fell down. I think that might be what happened. And now he's stuck on the spot just there. All right, so now grab your torch. Firstly, let me just grab my desert eagle once we enter the next area we will have a flyby and there'll be some scorpions sometimes they come towards you sometimes they don't so if they come in towards you in the flyby you want to get ready so let me have a save now okay just in case the scorpion situation gets messed up coming. I don't think they are this time. Not really. So they are poisonous. You want to keep your distance. Where's your friend? Yeah, this one's on fire. This is the fire bug just because we've got a torch lit. That's what happens when you have a lit torch. Okay, so there is a third one, but I'll deal with him later. He's way over in the corner. He never comes out Okay, so the rest of this video will be just collecting all the items in this main area. And I'm sorry for any lag, this is a big area and it kind of just lags just a little bit for me. So we'll be collecting four stars. There's two stars of Orion and two stars of Sirius. So the first star is at the top of this waterfall. So just make your way on up and once we grab and climb on up to here you want to drop down again real quick because there is a boulder <laughs> that will squish you and it does sound as though another one's on the way but no it's not it's fine oh let's grab the pistol so let's not waste desert eagle ammo Okay, first star. Right, so drop back on down. 
And as we climb out, we can see some mysterious floating Uzis. Hmm. Okay, so the next star is just up on these rocks. So we can climb up here into here. Okay, grab this, shimmy around. You can climb up, but I'll just shimmy. And then you actually do have to climb up for some reason to get into this little space. I don't know why. Okay, so that's two stars in the bag. So don't forget where you left your torch either. <laughs> right, so now I'm heading over this way. You want to be careful because there is this pit and it's full of spikes. There is a safe gap in this corner so I can drop down and grab just a few sneaky items. Okay. And now I'm going to hop across. So this pyramid structure is kind of, we're going to come back here at the end. So you just see a receptacle high up on the pyramid. So we'll be placing an item there at the end. So for now, we can push this very obvious movable block. Okay, and we can see another star. Cool beans. Okay, and before I leave this area, I can grab another secret. So it is pretty tricky. Also, just so you know, if you do fall down into this gap, you can use the sort of golden looking columns with all the hieroglyphs to uh, jump back out again onto this side. Okay, so for this horrible, trickier jump, <laughs> you want to jump over to that triangular section there it's not easy we've got this slope in the way and i'm sorry i'm always looking around it's because the look doesn't work so well she tends to look in the opposite direction that i want her to look in okay so the roll is good to use here also the where i am now i'm tempted to just jump on the spot you do gain just a tiny bit of extra space i'm gonna see how it goes without Jumping on the spot for the little extra space. Oh, got it in one. Okay, it's not usually that easy. <laughs> so we have a med back here. We've not chimed the secret sound yet. That will be on the last item. Okay, we have to jump around to, for more stuff. So this can seem tricky. It's not really all that bad. There we go. And now I'm going to get rid of my flare. I'm sorry it's going to be a bit dark. don't want to have an accident. So I'm going to jump on over to the sloped edge so I can shimmy all the way along. Oh, not like that. Ooh, I thought I was going to die. I'll reload anyway because that was a lot of health <laughs> that I took off there. Okay, there we go, just like that. And now shimmy all the way along to the column. Okay, so we can pull up onto the column for some Desert Eagle clips. Still no chime, but this last item over here will chime the secret. Okay. So now we can drop from the column, we'll take some damage. So I'll just go ahead and take the safer route back. So hop back this way and drop down on this side and we will not take any damage. So that's it for this area for now. So as I've said, we'll come back later in the game to this location. Okay, so now I'm going to find my torch. Okay, we've got a load of wall torches to light. Oh, don't forget there's the, the third scorpion as well in this area. 
So I'm going to throw my torch down so I can take care of the scorpion. Just make sure you know where the torch lands. Okay. Right, so this section, just hop up to here and push this block to reveal a wall torch. So some of them open single gates, like you only need to light the one and a gate opens, and then sometimes you need to light a few to open a gate. So this is just a single purpose wall torch. Does that make any sense? Okay, so this one has opened the gate right next to me. Do not lose your torch. <laughs> I lose it a lot, that's why I'm just... Look, where is it? Okay. Right, so inside here. So this is what we opened up. Inside is a cartouche piece. So before I leave the room, we best do the sensible thing and break everything. Cool beans. Okay, so every part in this room has something inside. Nice. Okay, so now I'm going to start the quest of lighting loads of wall torches. So we have one just over here. There we go. Okay, so that's shown as a gate. We do not yet know where it is. And I'm next going to bring my torch through to this area. So we can clearly see this old tile on the ground. We're going to raise this up as a column. I'm going to drop my torch onto it. Because we're going to get it up to that top section. And that's where the gate is that we were shown. So firstly... Let me climb on up this side to the lever that's going to raise the column. Okay, so this is a grab. You have to grab this ledge. Okay, and here's the lever. Okay, so before I go and use the torch again. I'm going to take a quick detour before dropping down. I'm going to grab some items. So the jump can be very tricky but it's not a secret. So it can be a tough jump. I've had some real bad luck with this on my last practice. So we're going to jump to a very narrow and sneaky flat ledge. Not like that. I'm going to reload just so I'm back up the top. Okay, and then you want to walk once you have made that we do have some sloped sections and the ceiling does not help it really does knock you down so just jump this gap and then the rest of this is pretty flat and then just hop to the items we've got some desert eagle clips and some grenades okay and the safest way down it is preferable to walk just to be on the safe side okay come to here and then just hold the grab but slide backwards and you'll oh no well that's all right that wasn't much damage but I wanted to hit the the uh, the rock there and then I wouldn't have taken any damage so I guess I was too far to the left be a bit more to the right okay so now we are climbing back up so you can grab this I don't know why she had to jump all the way up and then oh press the back as well if you want to do a backflip onto the column and grab the torch and make your way on over okay so here is the gate that we were shown so we need to light three more wall torches for this so here's one 
Okay. So now I'm going to do a very, very nasty jump to get there and back. So just around the corner, you've got this sloped edge right near me as well. So we're going to have to do a very difficult jump to get there and back. There's a, a wall torch that will raise this platform so that we can get the torch across over there. So you can make the jump with a grab, but obviously not with the torch. So yeah, we've got a low ceiling, that's what makes this tricky as well. Oh, she always turns way too much. <laughs> so this game is full of tricky jumps. Oh, I got it in one, it's really not that easy. It's really, really not. Because we've got to get back as well now. <laughs> that's just as tricky. Right. I'm going to save again because it really is that tricky. <laughs> so the best thing for this is the half tile jump. She's messed me about before and just would not do the half tile jump. So wish me luck. Oh, she did the jump and I did it in one. Oh, yeah. So it's going good today. I had a, a very failed recording attempt. Everything was just going wrong. So I just gave up. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to pop my torch down because I'm just going to come across here and grab the fourth star. So you want to be careful, there's a few slopes. Before I pick this up, I'm going to prepare myself because it will spawn a harpy and we do not have much room to hop around. So it will come from the lower left side. So you want to be careful as you're rolling. Okay, make sure you're on a spot <laughs> where you can keep rolling and not moving too much. Okay. So the harpies are poisonous. I believe they are. I'm sure they are. They usually are. <laughs> right, so careful with this jump as well. We've got the angled edge of this sloped tile. Nice. Okay, grab the torch again. We're con gonna continue this way. Hop over to the bridge. Better with a jump because of the sloped edges. <laughs> you never know where you might slide to. So here is another lamp wall torch that will open the gate and we'll just make our way around here for the last one. Oh, by the way, I didn't point out. You see the block on the ground by the lit wall torch. Inside that is a spare torch if you need it. Okay, tricky jumps. So we do have some sloped edges so you gotta be careful. Okay. Nice, and now the door is open, so I'm going to throw my torch down now. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Okay, and from here, I'm going to go and grab the mysterious floating Uzis. So that's a secret, and because some of these jumps really are tricky, I will be doing a lot of saving. Okay, so I'm going to do a running jump into this gap. To the right. That was not a running jump. Okay, Lara, can you kind of do it a little bit better? Thanks. Okay, not too difficult. Kind of. And then grab this edge. From here, I'm doing a running jump. Oh, oh, that kind of almost didn't work. Okay, to here. I'm sorry I'm not lighting a flare. It is dark. This game is pretty dark overall. But I just don't want to have a flare accident. Okay, so now I'm going to do a jump to the furthest section over there. So another half tile jump is the best way to do this that I've found. 
And it, this one is trickier than that last one I did. Oh no. If I rolled I would have saved that. So there are just so many intricate jumps in this whole game. There we go. I didn't need to do a roll for that jump, I don't think. I think that looked pretty good. Okay, so just do a running jump to this invisible tile. It's quite amazing because even if you light a flare or look through the binoculars with the light, you will not see the invisible tile here. It's quite interesting. So do not grab for this one. This is a non-grab running jump. She just will not grab this. So once we pick the Uzis up, we will spawn two more scorpions. So I'll just go ahead and equip my Uzis. And you get so much ammo for the Uzis, so you may as well go ahead and use them. Okay, so from here I'm going to grab my torch and put it somewhere sensible where I'll know where it is, preferably just here. So you see there's the spare torch, just in case. Right now I'm going to go back to where we raised the column because we've opened up that gate now. Why you jump so high? <laughs> okay, so inside is the second cartouche piece. So we can combine these together and go into the room, uh, you know, the this opens so we can use that over there to enter the temple area but I'll not do that just yet in there we will need to find to use four different stone items so two of them are found actually in this area so I'll get these two first and then find the two that are found in that area and then we can use them in that area so safest way down you can drop you won't die you'll take damage but safest way, just gonna hop to here and then just jump on over to the slope and just slide on down. Nice. So it does not matter which of the two rooms you do first. So as you go around these rocks, you'll head back to where we entered the area and just straight ahead of me over the other side of the rocks is another room. So two challenge rooms where we'll get one stone each. So this is where I'll end for today. I'll do these two rooms next time. So I hope you're enjoying this game. I just love it because it just looks so amazing. So Agent did a real good job with this. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Take it easy guys and girls.